my name is nikhil khedkar i am one of the ta for en309 course and today we are going to perform one experiment the title of experiment is loss due to pipe fittings and the aim of experiment is to determine the losses across the fittings in pipeline network usually any pipeline network consists of uh, various straight pipe sections and which are connected to each other with the help of couplings uh, and bends and these are also called as fittings Uh, though the fittings are very important part of any pipeline network, uh, those produces uh, resistance to flow. Uh, so the, and that resistance to flow uh, results into loss of pressure head uh, across the, along the flow. Hence, it is very important to uh, consider these losses or these uh, losses across the fitting uh, during design of any pipeline network. Uh, it is also an important uh, parameter while selecting a capacity of any pump for a given particular pipeline network so losses in fittings uh, are uh, widely classified into uh, two uh, two parts one is major loss another is minor loss so major losses are basically frictional losses uh, which occurs along the length of pipe and the main reason for frictional losses is the viscous nature of fluid uh, to understand this uh, we'll consider one example consider a st uh, pipe with length l diameter d and the flow velocity uh, average flow velocity is v and so this is fluid okay so when fluid passes through this section of pipe uh, the the velocity variation Uh, takes place along the uh, y axis this is y axis this is x axis so at the central location the ve velocity is higher compared to the uh, locations where the velocity is lower so at this point uh, at the pipe section the v is zero which is also called as uh, no slip condition and the reason for which uh, uh, reason for this variation is the in this region the viscous forces are dominant and in order to fluid to flow uh, in the intended direction fluid needs to uh, overcome the those frictional uh, or viscous forces and while doing uh, while overcoming those frictional forces the flow energy is consumed and that flow energy consumed flow energy uh, is depicted into head loss so if we take any two sections like section 1 and section 2 uh, across the pipe Uh, the pressure at uh, section 1 will always be higher than uh, pressure at section 2 this reduction in uh, this loss in pressure uh, is given by darcy weibach equation that is equation which is given by hl hl is a head loss is equal to f l v square divided by 2g into d d into d where d is diameter of pipe g is gravitation constant v is average velocity l is a length of pipe and f f is a friction factor which depends on the nature of fluid and the, how it interacts with the surrounding pipe this this friction factor for a particular flow condition such as reynolds number less than 10 to the power 5 is empirically given by blasius formula the blasius formula is f is equal to 0.316 divided by reynolds number re raised to 0.25 where re is equal to reynolds number is equal to rho v d by mu mu is a dynamic viscosity and rho is the density of fluid so in this experiment uh, we will be measuring head loss across the straight pipe and by measuring head loss we will calculate the friction factor also we will calculate the friction factor by using blasius formula and we will compare these friction factors as a as a result next type of losses are minor losses the minor losses are local in nature because they occurs across the fitting only uh those uh, main reason for those losses is geometrical change that means sudden expansion sudden contraction 
and another is di certain directional change to the flow of fluid that is sudden bend sharp bend or smooth bend okay so to understand uh, why the uh, head uh, pressure loss is occurring uh, we will draw the streamline at the at the surface of pipe okay uh, so we can see that uh, the streamline is not following the uh, shape of pipe uh, rather it, it is moving smoothly so in this region the eddies are formed and these eddies are responsible for uh, pr producing the head loss across the fitting similarly for uh, sudden contraction the streamline will follow like this okay so because the streamline is not following the shape of job, shape of the pipe the eddies will form and that is responsible for a head loss so in this uh, sudden contraction we can divide the section into three part this uh, three section 1 2 and 3 in section from section 1 to 2 the head loss is appreciable but from section 2 to 3 the uh, which contributes the uh, uh, higher head loss because section 2 to 3 can be considered as a sudden expansion in sharp bend when fluid flows uh, due to uh, sudden change in direction the fluid separation takes place and this is the streamline and the, in this section the eddies will form and these eddies are responsible for head loss in sharp bend section even in the smooth bend the the magnitude of separation will be lower but the still the eddies will form and that will lead to for uh, for reduction of head or head loss generally minor losses are expressed in terms of velocity head uh, so that can be written as hl where uh, hl are minor losses is equal to k into v square upon 2 into g where v square upon 2g is a velocity head and k is loss coefficient so in this uh, to, in today's experiment we will be measuring a head loss uh, and by with the help of, and by measuring v and we know g we will calculate the loss factor for each fit uh, each fitting minor losses are also expressed in terms of equivalent length of a straight pipe uh, which can be written uh, as a in equation form is h minor is equal to k into v square upon 2g is equal to f l l equivalent v square upon 2g that is k into d by f k into d equivalent so this equivalent length is uh, the straight pipe that means if fitting uh, any fitting produces x head loss so wh what would be the length of uh, straight pipe to produce same head loss so that is l equivalent so we we are also going to calculate l equivalent for each fitting in today's experiment so now this the theory part is over now we'll move to our experimental part thank you so this is our experimental setup for uh, loss due to pipe fittings please have a look at this
I will explain to you now the line diagram. Uh, please see your manual for details. So, this is a ma main tank from which the water will. Uh, uh, this is the pump, and from the pump, the water will flow through this line. Where this is our first fitting, this is smooth bend, then water will go through second fitting that is sharp bend, where we can see the radius of curvature is uh, lower compared to smooth bend. Then water will go to our third fitting which is sudden contraction. We can see the diameter of this pipe is higher compared to this pipe. Then uh, water th then will go uh, water will go through fourth fitting which is sudden expansion where pipe water from lower diameter pipe to higher di diameter flow through higher diameter pipe. Then water will go through this straight pipe that is across the length and at the end it will go into measuring tank. I have already explained you the circuit diagram. So, uh, if we look at any fitting, suppose this fitting sudden contraction. So, at the start of this fitting and at the end of this fitting, we have, uh, we have connected these two pipes and which are the other end of this pipe are connected to manometer which are on this side of the board. So, now I will start the experiment. Uh, so, with this is the switch for starting the pump and this is a regulator with which the speed of pump can be changed and by changing a pump we can efficiently control the flow rate. So, now I am going to start this experiment. So now you can see the water is coming from a uh, complete circuit and going into measuring tank and measuring tank is connected to main tank the, uh, and in between them there is a wall which bypasses the uh, water. So I have already taken a reading. Uh, so, I will show how, how did I take the reading. Okay. So, for a sharp bend, the manometer is this. For sharp bend, H1 is 9.6 uh, centimeter and H2 is 9.3 centimeter. Similarly, for smooth bend, H1 is uh, 10.3 centimeter and H2 is 10 centimeter. For expansion, uh, H1 is 11.5 and H2 is 8. Uh, for contraction, H1 is 13 centimeter and H2 is 3.5 centimeter. And for straight section, uh, H1 is 60 centimeter and H2 is 59.3 centimeter. So this is a major tank which, is, which I already ex, uh, exp, explained in uh, circuit diagram. So we will use this measuring tank to calculate the volume flow rate. So I will put this scale into this measuring tank and I will use this timer to measure the time uh, to rise the water by 10 centimeter. So for which I will close the bypass valve now. I will start the, the stopwatch at 5, 5 cm height. The timer has been started. I will stop the timer at 15 cm. So, okay. so 
time it took for 10 cm rise is 24.85 seconds uh, please see the reading okay so all these readings are taken at at one particular flow rate so in practical uh, we generally do five to five five readings at five different different volume flow rate so now experimental part is over now we'll move to our observation table thanks so this is the observation table please note down the readings all the height di dimensions h1 s2 are mentioned in centimeter and these are the constants which are required for a calculation dc is a uh, diameter of measuring tank uh, d1 and d2 are the uh, larger and smaller pipe diameter and length of uh, pipe which is uh, for which uh, straight pipe is 1 meter from this experiment uh, for a straight section you need to calculate these four parameters flow rate uh, head loss reynolds number and friction factor and friction factor you need to calculate by both the methods both the equations like darcy weibach equation and blasius formula and you need to compare those values and find a relative error and for other fittings you need to calculate the seven parameters flow rate head loss flow velocity loss coefficient reynolds number friction factor by using blasius formula and equivalent length and for further details you you can refer to manual so result section is over so these results are only for one one set of volume one flow, uh, volume flow rate uh, but ts will provide you uh, five readings for five set of uh, discharge and you need to calculate for uh, all the five flow rates thank you